Hey YouTube, Stetson here, and today we're going to chat about eight types of common cyber attacks that can and do strike organizations, consumers, and individuals like you every day. Now, CompTIA's research has shown that only around 35% of IT staff had rated their cybersecurity as completely satisfactory. Where do you think your organization stands? Let's take a few minutes to brush up on these common attacks so that you and your staff can be ready to prevent themselves from being victims. Spoofing is our first type of basic cyber attack. Spoofing occurs when someone or something is hiding their identity as someone or something else. It's kind of like wearing a fake mustache and glasses and going back through the free sample line for seconds. That might just be only me. In all seriousness, spoofing is a foundational cyber attack that's often used in other cyber attacks. Sending an email with a fabricated from address would qualify as spoofing. Although there's many different types of spoofing, including DNS server spoofing, ARP spoofing, and IP spoofing. DDoS, or Distributed Denial of Service, is what happens when a massive amount of internet traffic is sent all at once to a single website, server, or a set of servers. It's the same concept as a traffic jam. The amount of traffic is so high that it's too much for the system to process, and everything grinds to a complete halt. The distributed in DDoS refers to the nature of the attack, where sometimes thousands of machines will all be sending traffic to the single destination. And although no valuable information is typically gathered from a DDoS, it can certainly cause massive amounts of chaos and really expensive downtime if a company cannot serve its customers. Ransomware. Ransomware is not a new type of attack, but it's become increasingly more common today, as we see corporations, hospitals, and even governments all feeling its effects. The way that ransomware works once it's on your machine is that it encrypts the contents of the hard drive with a key or password that only the attacker has. Once the user has been locked out of the system, the attacker will then ask for payment in the form of a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. This cybercrime will often target organizations with high value data, but anybody can be at risk. In May of 2019, the city of Baltimore was attacked with ransomware. The attacker asked for $76,000 worth of Bitcoin, but the cost to recover was estimated as $18 million. Ransomware is no joke. Phishing. Phishing attackers send out massive amounts of email containing malicious links that if they're opened and clicked on, can steal your login credentials or other important information. Phishing attackers often rely on spoofing to pretend to be somebody else, usually your bank or an online store or really anything at all that would get you to open the email. Avoid phishing at all costs. Social engineering. Social engineering is definitely the oldest form of attack because usually it doesn't even rely on a computer to perform. Social engineering is any type of attack that relies on the psychological manipulation of a person into doing something that they shouldn't or divulging secret information that they shouldn't. Usually the attacker will just pretend to be somebody with authority and simply ask for the secret or the thing to be done. Many cybersecurity experts say that humans are in fact the weakest link in the cybersecurity chain. So this is even more reason for users to be educated. Tampering. Data tampering happens when data is destroyed or changed by somebody who shouldn't be allowed to. A common form of tampering is subtly manipulating a URL to change parameters that would give the attacker access. A backdoor can refer to any method where an authorized or unauthorized user can circumvent normal security measures and gain access to a system with a higher level of access. Now, sometimes backdoors are installed on purpose by software or hardware companies so that they can access their technology after the fact. These non-criminal types of backdoors can be used to help a user who's locked out of their account or for troubleshooting purposes. Malware. Malicious software or malware is a broad blanket term that can describe many different types of software, code, or bugs that intend to do damage to a system. Malware can be created by anyone, whether it's a single rogue hacker, a group of hackers, or entire governments. Malware can take the form by way of executable code, scripts, active content, and other forms of data. Malware is referred in the media by a lot of different names like computer viruses, Trojan horses, worms, ransomware, spyware, adware, or scareware. All right, that's our list of eight basic cyber attacks. They're so basic, you might just miss them. Be sure to stay on top of cybersecurity. Check out CompTIA's cybersecurity resources in the description below and validate the skills needed by getting certified. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.